So gallbladder as such has no function in the human body. We as a um, species seems to have evolved out of the need to have a gallbladder. So you're not going to miss not having a gallbladder. It's a bit like the appendix. So if you don't have it, you're not going to miss it. A gallbladder can cause a lot of problems. One in terms of once patients have stones in the gallbladder, uh, and I would say 20% of the population can have stones. And um, sometimes they can get infected, they can cause pain because they're blocking the exit of the gallbladder. Some of, in some patients, these stones can travel down the tubes of the liver. And I would say about 12% of patients who have stones in the gallbladder can travel down the tubes of the liver. And that can lead to jaundice, i.e. which is yellow discoloration of skin, and also occasionally cause infection in the tubes of the liver. Uh, and in some patients, they can cause pancreatitis. So once the gallbladder starts to have problems with the gallstones, the recommendation is always to have the gallbladder removed so that it doesn't lead to any of the complications which I've just mentioned. So patients could have pain. A pain could be in the middle of the abdomen or it could be on the right side. Sometimes the pain goes around to the back Sometimes the pain can go to the shoulder. Uh, sometimes the pain can be associated with the temperature. Uh, and also some people could become jaundiced. So in these kind of patients, they need to be urgently seen, to be assessed, to have a scan before we make a definitive treatment plan for them. Uh, so different ways of presentation. And I have to add, a lot of people who have gallstones do not have any symptoms. And these gallstones are found incidentally when we scan patients for other causes or other uh, symptomatology. If the patients have got symptoms, uh, as I mentioned before, including pain, temperature, or jaundice, uh, then they do need treatment because these stones are not going to go away. Uh, and most patients will get recurring symptoms one could never be certain at what time those symptoms will happen, how frequent they're going to be, but most patients will get recurring symptoms. So if the patients have got symptoms, the recommendation is to have the gallbladder removed along with the stones. Now, patients who have no symptoms, there is no reason to have the gallbladder removed and we could treat that conservatively. And, and if patients do get symptoms in the future, uh, then we could assess and have a plan with regards to what we do. Once the patients become symptomatic, I would say the patients would need surgery to have the gallbladder removed, and that is the recommendation. Uh, and as I mentioned before, if the patients have got pain or temperature, or if they have changes in blood tests, related to the gallstones, then the recommendation is to have the gallbladder removed. Most patients after the operation go home the same day because majority, almost always these patients have um, the gallbladder removed through the keyhole. Um, occasionally patients might stay in overnight depending on their fitness beforehand and of course their age and their um, setup at home. Once they are home, then they're allowed to walk around. We recommend that the patients don't drive for about a week to 10 days uh, till they are comfortable make, to make an emergency stop. Um, after two weeks, most patients are almost back to normal, um, back at work, back driving and doing most of the things they do on a regular basis. Not having the gallbladder because the gallbladder has no function in the human body uh, is not going to affect patients a lot. Occasionally, some patients do get diarrhea, uh, and that is something to be uh, kept a watch for. Uh, 